What's going on guys? Ethan and Andrew for another Tech Tip Tuesday. What are we talking about today? We were talking about sound d dampening material or deadening material. I dampening, guess. deadening, it's kind of interchanged. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, very true. So as we came at you last week, we talked about these uh, speaker adapters and um, these are speaker baffles and we'll talk about that on another Tech Tip Tuesday. Um, that's a whole nother learning video. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll come at you speaking a little bit more about these speaker baffles, but let's talk about uh, sound dampening, sound deadening here. Um, we've got the panel already pulled off. Again, this is the uh, Silverado right here. To keep the sound quality, obviously, we did the speaker adapters. We've got that in there, and then we've got the sound dampening or deadening on the outer panel of the door here, and it's been laid all the way across here. So how does it really work? So with the, the sound... Dampening material. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with dampening. You stick okay. with deadening. All right, all right. All right. We got that. We, yep. we can switch it up later. Cool. Um, you know, it, it, it's a multi-layer material. I'm not gonna get into all the specifics because this is just education 101, right? And it's got rubber butyl and you know aluminum and all kinds of stuff in it. But um, it's kind of like if you look at it, think about it like a recording studio where a, a professional musician records their album. Um, in it, and I'm sure you've seen it on movies or TV shows and the walls are lined with the milk crates or the foam padding or all different kinds of materials. So it's they not use. the shower? It could be the shower. Yeah. That's how I did my first album. Started from the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> um, so... Um, it's similar to those principles. And like I said, I'm not going to get into all the, the details and the science behind it. Um, a lot of people associate it. So the big household name would be Dynamat. And Dynamat is a, is a brand. It's a company. It's a good company. There's nothing wrong with Dynamat. We've used Dynamat um, quite often and uh, throughout my years um, of experience in the industry. Uh, this one's ballistic. Uh, it's a, another great material. Um, very similar, if not the same, to Dynamat in my uh, short opinion. Uh, and then there's other materials that we carry in the store as well. Um, so a lot of people think of it as, uh, you know, the stuff that prevents rattles after you put subs in the trunk or the rear of a vehicle. Mm -hmm. And yes, it does do that. And that's what it's most famously known for. However, it does so many other amazing things. Uh, we've done whole vehicles that didn't even have any aftermarket audio in them, believe it or not. Uh, we've done muscle cars and classic cars and tuner cars and off-road trucks. Um, cut down on the road noise. Yeah, so it cuts down on the road noise. Also improves the interior sound quality. Yeah. You know, so it, whether that's your conversation you're having on the phone, the conversation you're having with the passenger, the conversation you may be having with yourself, like me. No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, Wait, so you're telling me if I drive a Mazda 3 and I put this all throughout my vehicle, it's going to be like... Riding in a Mercedes, yeah, exactly. or a Maserati. Yeah, it could be even better. Simple. Probably even better. A little faster, so, right? <laughs> <laughs> zoom, zoom. Yeah. Um, so you know, yeah. So they, they those, you know, um, higher uh, European vehicles or what you know, as a reference, mm -hmm. uh, have a factory layer that the Mazda three probably does not have from yeah. the fact from the manufacturer. Yep. But even that factory layer is not quite up to par as some of the aftermarket options that we're talking about here in this Tech Tip Tuesday. Uh, so uh, we line this whole door. These come in sheets, so we actually line it up and cut it to the specifics. If you want to get a little closer in here, um, of course we put the um, the bar the, way the factory barrier back on here, and we did. So this is the um, inside uh, layer, and there's another. There's two. There's three different layers of sheet metal in this door. Obviously, that's where your window goes and your lock motors for your door and all that stuff. Your window track. Uh, so we did the other, the outer layer as well as the inner layer. Um, you can't really see that because it's up inside the door. Uh, and it really makes a difference. So for this customer that bought some nice speakers and have amplifiers, it, um, those speakers, what he paid for, are going to sound that much better uh, from this material being in this door. So it's going to bring those, the sound of the speakers out, the, 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 the waves of the, the frequencies of the speaker itself aren't going to resonate in between pieces of sheet metal. Um, so he's going to gain more than lose some of those, those qualities, uh, even with that nicer speaker. Yeah, so check out the, uh, the back door here. Um, kind of give you just a sound reference with it. You can hear that rattling. Solid. So just adding that little layer on there makes a huge difference in it. And just seeing on the back door, we did the exact same thing here, but I'll get you a close look here. And you can see inside the door as well, we've lined that too. So this is really helping with the sound deadening as I'm gonna stick with on the, uh, the rest of this video here. It's just anywhere you can put it and put it in there and have it laying on there, stick to the door properly is gonna just help 
there yeah, there's that much more. There's a science to applying it. Um, you know, obviously it's self adhesive, but it's not just slapping it on the door. Sure, it can work, uh, but once again, uh, that's not how we do things. Uh, so we strategically apply the material, uh, cut it to the contours of the factory lines and the door and what's around it. Uh, the you know the plugs, the, the speaker holes, the you know uh, locks, the lock cables, and everything else. Right. Um, also, as you probably saw, there's a, a rear wave baffle pad in there, and we're going to talk about that with these guys on another Tech Tip Tuesday. Um, so big, big difference. Like I said, improves interior um, sound quality, prevents exterior road noise, uh, makes your experience that much better. Helps, does help prevent rattles, um, you know, and small movements of, you know, uh, lock rods or whatever you have inside your door panel. Every vehicle has a, a little bit different design. Then we're going to take you to the other side of it and show you the doors that we have not completed yet and then talk a little bit about, about the uh, sound dampening um, options that we have here at Soundwave Customs. So uh, we'll take you around here. And of course this truck's all torn apart. We talked about our parts carts and Tech Tip Tuesday episode number one a little bit, I believe. Um, so here's just a, a very small scale scrap piece. of it. Scrap piece here. This is what gets applied onto the metal itself using the applicator. So this door doesn't have any of it on there. So you can hear really, how that is. Yeah, you can really hear that. You can see the inside of the panel hasn't been set up. So this is our blank canvas in which we're going to put this on. And essentially what you do is peel it back, find the proper area on there. You can see on the other doors, we were able to spam the entire door to get the most coverage possible. And then you lay it on as if I was going to put it on there and make sure you have the proper adhesion to it and aligning all of the doors is going to make all the difference in the world and you can see our kits here yeah so there's a lot of different options like we said ballistic is one of uh, the big brands we carry in, in the stores kind of probably said same thing as, as your household name and Dyn uh, dynamat we also carry sound shield which is another uh, amazing option and there's different kind of material so what we put in this truck is kind of your standard uh, sound dampening material um uh, you know just like your dynamat your original dynamat uh what you have in this box and the sound shield is kind of a tri-layer like i said there's multiple layers it's got a almost like a memory closed cell foam on it and like i said i'm not going to get into science behind what it's made out of we could talk about that at a later date uh and same thing with the sound shield and then the standard stuff uh we even go all the way down to the um the quilted foam pads that could go indoor in the back side of door panels um under carpets uh, all kinds of stuff so and this is also um, 3M adhesive. So there's all different kinds of sound dampening for your vehicle. And like I said, you don't have to have uh, an aftermarket audio system at all to gain uh, the features of this product. Uh, we even go way down to the license plate kit. Um, and that, that's you know definitely when you put some subs in your trunk, <laughs> that prevents rattles. So that, that guy is probably for that. It's not gonna prove the sound of your license plate. Uh, you sure? I don't know. We could try that. Yeah. Uh, maybe we could do like a Mythbusters thing. No. <laughs> Get them out here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, so that there you have it. That sound deadening, dampening. We no, switch. Dampening. Now we deadening. switch. Deadening. Dampening. <laughs> uh, material. Whichever uh, term you refer to it as, we've got it available here at the store, and it is a very involved process getting it in there. But when you do put it in there, it makes a world of difference. It really does. Sure. And even if you buy a set of speakers, aftermarket speakers that are let's say ninety nine bucks, mm -hmm. uh, if you put those ninety nine dollars speakers in this door right here, it will sound better than your factory speaker, right? Of course. But you're still losing, let's say, I'll say twenty percent, maybe twenty five percent. Now, if you put that ninety nine dollars speaker in there with sound dampening, uh, <laughs> uh, you're gonna you know gain that twenty percent of lost sound or the the frequencies off the sheet metal in mm -hmm. this door. So even that ninety nine dollars speaker uh, can sound a lot better with by adding this. So. Yeah. Uh, it does a lot. That's all we have for this Tech Tip Tuesday. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. We hope you guys are getting something out of these videos or at least joy, enjoying watching us or me um, get tongue-tied with Tech Tip Tuesday. I've been better than this episode. Uh, I'm Ethan. This is Andrew. And uh, check us out, Soundwave Customs, next on all week. social media. Um, yes, next week, Tuesdays. And, uh, yeah, check us out, Soundwave Customs, all social medias, soundwavecustoms.com. Um, we're here Saturday. Wow. Saturday, is, it's always a blooper, man. It's always, yeah. I, was, I was that close not having a blooper. Uh, Tuesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., uh, soundwavecustoms.com. Give us a call, 757-648-8888. Thank you again. We'll see you next week. Awesome.